What is behind me? Postcards. What are we talking about? Postcards. We're going to talk about some interesting business stuff through the lens of selling postcards on eBay. I have 27,000, 28,000 listed as of the end of April. Those are all boxes of postcards. I've got a deal on 20,000 postcards coming through hopefully over the weekend. I'll buy them over the weekend. They'll come, I don't know, in a week. Um, and we're going to talk about where the business is, um, my predictions, where, where it's going to go, how I've come to information, the tools I'm using to list thousands of postcards a day, uh, and I'll, I'll sprinkle in other stuff too. I have this written down. It's not in front of me, but I have this written down. So these are my postcards. Every paper has writing on it. This writing is the skew. I try and have about 50 postcards in any given skew. Uh, and that's because for one, my scanner can't handle more than about 25 or 30 postcards at one time. I got to upgrade that. And two, uh, this is the amount I can grab and thumb through pretty easily and find what I have to sell. And three, um, it creates kind of like easy metrics for later on in my process because my goal is to sell 0.5% of all my inventory. So I've got this here. I have that back there. These are all going to go on that shelf that's empty. And then here, I think I'm at like 510 SKUs. Uh, so yeah, I've sold like, and there are, I mean, the numbers don't add up perfectly. A lot of these have more than 50. Um, I don't, I'm not too, too worried about exactly having that number. Um, because as I'm going to show you in a little bit, the program I have is just taking this and whatever was originally listed is being used. So it doesn't have to go off of any constant, um, variables, by the way, I'm using, uh, primarily Python. Um, to do all this work. So if you're curious about Python coding, stick around. This is what it looks like when I open them up. I Typically, I get them in these medium flat rate mailers, uh, postcards. These are both postcards, actually. Whoops, don't look at my address. Don't look. Um, we'll open up. We'll t <laughs> I'll turn this over, and then we'll, we'll open up the other one. Uh, I know that there probably are better ways to store postcards better ways, different ways to sell, to ship, uh, store postcards than these, these things I have here. Uh, but they're like a dollar at Walmart and they don't break. I've done lots of experiments storing things in other kinds of cardboard boxes. Uh, and the issue is, is they, I break them. I tear them up. I'm, I get too rough with them. Like a box like this, I'll, I'll rip the handle. Um, you know, it's just not good. And plastic tends to hold up longer. I think they did a good job packing these. This is about, uh, probably about 1,200 postcards, if I had to guess. I don't know much about postcards. That's the crazy thing. Uh, I'm like a top 50 postcard seller on eBay, and I don't really know much about them. I know that this came out of a book. You can tell by the perforated edge. Um, I know there's like different sizes, like continental and standard stuff like that. I know that this is a probably Chrome, maybe not. Um, but Chrome is like a finish of postcard. There's linen postcards, there's RPPCs, everything I've learned, I've learned from watching other people on YouTube and reading blog posts and just having like, conversations with like uh, dealers and collectors. Um, it isn't like you can, you know, maybe you can take a class. That's a cool one of Naples, some cool RPPC. These are RPPC postcards. They're real photograph postcards. Uh, I think they are. Yeah verified photograph uh, of Naples. So I will list all of these. Sometimes if I have somewhere in this, in one of these boxes over here, I've got a thousand uh, RPPC postcards, which are real photograph postcards. I paid uh, like 220 bucks for a thousand, which is more than I typically pay for postcards. And I probably will list those at like $17. But all of these postcards are $10.99, and then I run a promotion at 10% off, and then I send offers at 10% off, and for pretty much all of these, I will accept an offer as low as $6. And so if I make $6, I make about, or if I sell it for $6, I make about, I don't know, five bucks probably after fees and shipping and all that good stuff. But if it sells for full price, I make about $9 a postcard, 
And if I'm paying 10 to 20 cents for postcard and I sell it for $9 and I have a 0.5% sell through rate, I think the math is adding up for you guys. And if it's not, get a calculator. Okay, for this video, I'm gonna go over the script or this portion of the video. So I originally wrote it in Google Apps script. I'm moving it over to Python uh, to be a, just a, a program I can run on my computer. And then eventually that will be what runs as a website or as a, a software, as a service type incremental thing. Uh, so basically what I'm doing is importing all the images uh, then I'll check the rows to make sure that everything is formatted correctly to be processed by the next program, which is uh, character recognition. Uh, then I use ChatGPT, which I'll be using my own language library or uh, yeah, language library in the future. Uh, but for now, I use ChatGPT to create the description and the title. Uh, and from that, we make sure that it's eBay upload friendly. Uh, and from that, I fix the title to be something that's going to make more sense than just like random keywords. Uh, from that, I check for non-compliant lines. Uh, from that, we make it into a WordPress exportable format because I'm also archiving all these postcards on WordPress. Uh, and then we can download it and upload it using eBay reports. So that's where we're at with postcards. I like it. I like them because they don't take a lot of time to list. Um, commonly asked questions. Is the software that I made, am I going to make it public? I'm making the underlying foundation public. Is it going to be a, a, a service? You can you can pay some amount of money per listing uh, to get your own automatically created listings based off images. I'm not there yet. I have the underlying coding logic down pretty good. But how like code interacts with the internet and how you charge people for stuff is uh, a bit a bit new to me. So I'm still learning in that regard. Um, I'm getting out of video games, getting out of books, getting out of collectibles. Obviously, if I see a good deal, I see a good deal, but I'm not like searching for, um, leads or good deals or auctions or whatever in those, in those spaces anymore, just because it's just too much work. It's too much work and the margins are too low to buy bulk video games off any public auction. If you have deals, if you have connections, whatever, but like scanning eBay and Goodwill and all auction websites, um, just the ROI is lower than I want, lower than I make selling postcards. Uh, and the hourly rate I make is lower than I can earn doing any kind of like consulting work. Um, which ironically, a lot of the, the stuff I've learned to make this program that lists the postcards is applicable to many business use cases. So that's where we're at. Thanks for watching. It's been a while since my last video, but I made one. And if you liked it, if you're new, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Where silence unfolds, whispers of papyrus, secrets yet untold, sounds of the mill, rhythms unearthly, melodies woven.